Hey, man. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Hope all is well. Y'all already know what this is. I am Dean. I am your host, Dean, by any means. You know, before I start, I was like to say, you know, hit that cash yet. Dollar sign Dean by any means. I don't care if it's a dollar, 50 cent, a quarter, a penny, whatever cash app allows you to send. It would be nice out the kindness of your heart, whoever it is, whenever you feel like it, whatever amount. I thank you. Today going to be something that I think y'all going to like. Something that's well deserved. Something that is a part of our history. You know, it's something that's probably the reason why most of us like boxing. Muhammad Ali is, has been, and forever will be the face of boxing. Muhammad Ali not only was a generational talent, but Muhammad Ali stood up in a time where he was very needed. Civil rights era, and people were looking for a champion. And he was that and everything else. Muhammad Ali, one of them people I truly believe God just propped down right time, right place. The man upstairs took his time with that man. Muhammad Ali is the reason we all love boxing. Muhammad Ali is the only reason boxing is as popular as it is. If Muhammad Ali was living today, he would be more popular than any person on earth I could think of right now, even Michael Jordan. If Muhammad Ali was living today, was in his youth and in his prime today, he would probably be one of the one of the richest men in the world by far, just off a of name and likeness. Muhammad Ali has done so much for boxing that we still call him the greatest and he hasn't put on gloves in 40, 50 years. Muhammad Ali had a style of boxing that was unmatched and we haven't seen none prettier since him. That's funny because he dominated an era about 50, 40, 50 years ago, but the style was so pretty. We've never seen it again. We've never seen a man look that composed, look that together, look that coordinated in the ring. Still, to this day, it has not been one person that has came along and has matched his nostalgia of watching him play. No different than there has never been nobody that came along and has matched the nostalgia and the pretty play of a Michael Jordan. Muhammad Ali was an amazing man, was an amazing fighter, was an amazing father, was an amazing role model. That man stood on everything he believed in. And you know what one of his biggest regrets was? Falling out with the guy y'all see on y'all screen right now. And as men, that's something we all got to live with. And forget me how much I admire, rest in peace, Malcolm X. Muhammad Ali was very close to him. That was one of his closest friends. And he lost that friendship from being lied to by certain people. He was young, impressionable, was down for the cause, loyal. And I'm glad Muhammad Ali woke up and realized one day. That was the biggest mistake of his life. And it's okay because we all make mistakes. We all make mistakes. Muhammad Ali will forever be the face of boxing. Nobody can match. Nobody can compare. Nobody. Just think of the time that he was doing what he was doing. Muhammad Ali was up there telling it how it is in front of white folks when you wasn't allowed to tell how it was in front of white folks. <laughs> Muhammad Ali got racially attacked 
for what he believed in and was forced to go to the military when we all know that they did that out of spite and not on purpose, knowing what that man would do. And they wanted to test that man because he didn't want to be called by his name. He didn't refuse to go to war. He refused to be called by the name Cassius Clay. You know how big of a story that would be if one of the major athletes today was like at the top of the sport and then they went on and changed a name in the middle of their career. Like just imagine if Canelo Alvarez changed his name to something else. Like right now. Imagine if Javante Davis changed his name. Muhammad Ali had an impact that was times 10 that when he did what he did and changed his name. Muhammad Ali is the face of boxing because he stood for stuff that I have never seen no other boxer stand for outside of it. He stood for his people. Muhammad Ali was the face of the people. Forget the face of boxing. There was a point in time that Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, and Muhammad Ali was the face of black people. Yes, people. Yes, they were. Just them three. Nobody else. And that's why, besides um, Muhammad Ali, that's why the other two had to go so young. <laughs> Jealousy is crazy, y'all. Envy. Muhammad Ali has dealt with it all. There hasn't been nobody that has been more dominant. There hasn't been nobody that has had the pretty style of him. There has not been nobody who has had the courage that Muhammad Ali has had. There's nobody that has been that's been through that's had the image that Muhammad Ali has had. When the last time you've seen a fighter say what they was going to do to a fighter in the beginning of the round, you don't hear you don't hear fighters rhyming no more, really making things entertaining. None of that. You don't hear it no more, yo. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Ah, rumble, young man, rumble. His charisma, his swagger, his style. Muhammad Ali invented something called swag. Y'all don't know what swag is. Muhammad Ali was swag. For real, for real. Muhammad Ali could have stopped wars. That's how powerful he was. Muhammad Ali could have went into Israel and Palestine right now in his prime and possibly freed hundreds just off his name alone. Muhammad Ali would be one of the most famous people on earth right now. Not from what he just do in the ring, but for what he stood for outside of it. Muhammad Ali was a generational talent in the ring, was unmatched. If you can find me another fighter that has a better jab than Muhammad Ali, then we can talk about it. But I doubt you find that. And you damn sure not going to find another fighter that has a better jab with better footwork. I don't think there is a fighter ever that has had better footwork than Muhammad Ali. He's been the face of boxing, y'all. When you think of boxing, if you close your eyes right now, somebody says boxing right in your head. What's the first person you think about? And if it's Mike Tyson, just know who the first person he he would think about if I ask him that same question. Yeah, that hit you. I know some of you said, oh, maybe Mike Tyson. Well, then ask Mike, if you ask Mike Tyson that same question, who would he think about? Without Muhammad Ali, there is no Sugar Ray Robinsons. There is no Mike Tyson. I mean, no Sugar Ray Leonard's. There is no Mike Tyson's. There is no Tommy Hearns. There is no Marvin Hagler's. You got to understand, he helped brush in that era of fighters that took fighting to another level and carried it all the way up to the Mike Tyson era, then the Roy Joneses and everybody else. But that's what we're talking about. This man lost years off his prom for what he believed in and then came back and became heavyweight champion of the world again in the hardest division in boxing because it's really not a division. It could only be a division if you had a weight limit on it, but it ain't really too much of a weight limit on it. So there is not even really a division. Fighting the best competition. Muhammad Ali has fought them all. Muhammad Ali has fought them all. And he took them all in a prom, too. And he was undisputed, too. 
Muhammad Ali became undisputed at 22 years old. So when people tell you that certain other people are the youngest undisputed, undis no, they're not. Muhammad Ali was undisputed in the one belt era, which was the hardest era because everybody was going after that one thing. Because back then, being in it still would be like that today. If there was only one belt, if there was only one belt, the WBA, which is the one that I believe that Muhammad Ali held, shout out to Javante Davis. Um, uh, yeah, I believe then it would carry a lot more weight. But Muhammad Ali, man, is the true, true face of boxing for what he stood for inside the ring, what he stand for outside of the ring, what he fought for, the relationships he had, the things he's done, just the blessing he has given us with his charisma, his on-screen appearances, him being a role model. And this is the other thing. His daughter became the face of female boxing. And I'm going to do a video on her too. Not only is he the face of boxing, his daughter is the face of female boxing. I'm going to say that again for the people that sleep in the back. Not only has he became the face of boxing ever, his daughter has became the face of female boxing ever. I just want, I want that man to know Long after he gone, we can continue to hold you down, big dog. We're gonna continue to speak your name and under and make everybody understand that you are the reason that we love this sport so much. And if you ain't the reason we fell in love with it, you part of the reason that helped us fall in love with it. I appreciate Muhammad Ali for everything that he stood for. I agree with him, and I appreciate Muhammad Ali for things he has taught me. And I wasn't born. No, my dad was a young man. My dad was a little boy when he was in his prime. But he's been that inspirational. He's a role model. He's the man. He would be the A-side to all A-sides ever. There is nobody in boxing that could ever say they would be the A-side to Muhammad Ali because they just wouldn't. You can go get the greatest heavyweights of all time, and none of them will be the A side in that fight. They couldn't sell it the way he do it. You have everybody else came after him and jacked his swagger. All that trash talking and all that, that is all him. That is all him. Showcasing yourself prior to the fight and all of that stuff, that is Muhammad Ali, yo. And I think that people not up on a lot of these things. They know their history. But I know mine. And I just want to say thank you to that man. Because we talk about the Javante Davis, Canelo Alvarez. When we being honest, the real face of boxing is Muhammad Ali. Original born name, Cassius Clay. The greatest. The GOAT. The best to ever put on a pair of gloves. Don't care about his loss record because ain't none of them losses. was He got one of them losses when he was in his prom. None of the rest of them losses came when he was in his prom without him being in jail, in prison, and them actually deliberately. Muhammad Ali is the only person we could ever say never ducked. And if he didn't fight, it's because they deliberately tried to make him not fight. He was so powerful as the heavyweight champion, heavyweight champion of the world, y'all, that they wanted to put this man in prison. And they did it and got away with it. All because they couldn't respect that man's wishes and call him what he wanted to be called by. And they knew better. The whole world know what his name is, but they don't know what his name is. It's funny how life works. So we do enough talking about all these other faces of boxing and who's the A-side. And I just want to do a video on the actual A-side, the actual face of boxing to everybody that has ever existed. The best man to ever put on some gloves, the most inspirational man to ever put on some gloves. He was much more than a fighter, y'all. He's the only boxer ever, maybe Joe Lewis, maybe Sugar Ray, but maybe um, Jack Johnson. But to be honest, he was the only fighter ever that was much more than a fighter, yo. You don't know if Muhammad Ali was a revolutionary or a fighter. You don't know which category to put him in. That's okay. You can't put him in either because he was three things. He was a revolutionary, a fighter, and an entertainer. 
yeah, he bought selling pay-per-views and promoting yourself and marketing. Muhammad Ali could do a marketing clash just by his personality alone. Muhammad Ali would never need to go to school to learn. People graduate and go to college for marketing degrees. Muhammad Ali could teach the class by himself. No books, no studies, no nothing. Just study his personality and the things he did and you'll get far in life. Rest in peace to the greatest. Rest in peace to Michael Max. Dean. By any means. Hope y'all love the content. I appreciate everybody, everybody that like, share, and subscribe. And like I said, man, hit that cash app if it if it do your heart. So I don't care if it's a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, five dollars, ten dollars, fifteen, twenty, thirty, whatever. You see what I'm saying? But I just appreciate y'all. Y'all been rocking with me and holding me down. And I promised y'all I was gonna continue to come with different content, different things. You never know what I'm coming with, and I just hope y'all enjoy this. Because this is so relevant to everything we've been talking about. Holla at me.